Alright, my plants out here were uh, kind of tapered off too quickly for the, the sunlight and they got a little bit of damage here. This is a heatless habanero. Um, so, they're kind of kind of uh, shocked. They'll drop these leaves off and stuff, but they're still alive. And uh, this lemon drop bounced back pretty well. Um, the rain really weighed them down and made the whole plant collapse. But, uh, so, I've got uh, this Melrose that's really weak. And uh, I'm gonna keep that one here for a while. And then I picked up these, uh, this Black Prince tomato from Walmart. And then the very famous Cherokee Purple. So, these are a couple of really nice looking plants. Um, I just repotted them, so I'm gonna wait till they put out a bunch of roots and kind of fill out those pots before I put them outside. But, like this black tomato is looking real, real poor. <laughs> so, we'll uh, see how it goes here. As far as the tent, uh, nothing's really, really changed too much. Just the stuff's really taken off. This oregano is just getting huge, and man, I just love making spaghetti with a ton of oregano, both kinds. And then I took all three kinds of basil and put it in there, and oh my goodness, amazing! So, started some new seeds here. I'm gonna give a, a few to my father. Uh, some ground cherries and a couple kinds of tomatoes that I didn't grow that I kind of want to, so. I can still fit those in this year, even starting them this late, so um, my lettuce is getting some pink uh, type of purple coloring in the center. It's supposed to be a butter crunch, so it's supposed to be shorter as far as I know, but it's really, uh, and the light's always really close, so I don't know why it's getting so tall, but uh, keeping a few plants in here for now, just until they get more established. I'm excited for this one. Focus, lunchbox orange. So, real small snacking peppers. So, but that's about all. Okay guys, out here at the garden space, hopefully this wind doesn't make this video unbearable to listen to but here's the garden space it goes way down there it's probably I don't know it's like a hundred feet long but I'm at the opposite end here and uh, just doing some work today putting marigolds in between all of my plants for uh, keeping away pests uh, insects and animals. So then I kind of made a roundabout corner here with my ground cherries. And um, so working on that. Still got a few uh, wax peppers to plant and still got some leftover marigolds there that I'll stick around here. But then these couple rows here. We got some onions, kind of hard to see, but they're coming up. So, then, got radishes here, got some turnips here. Kale is in this row over here. Some more turnips down this row. And uh, potatoes are in here somewhere. So well, this wind is really making me kind of frustrated. It's been windy nonstop and just wet. I got my uh, patty pans over here. Got one more of those at home. I put these out a little earlier. I didn't want them to have 
have a freak accident and get killed and then there goes all my starts. And cucumber is kind of looking pretty sad, but got another one of those at home too that I didn't put out, so we'll see. Okay, I'm about finishing up here for the day. I got some short rows of glass gem corn there. And uh, put in a row of sunflowers on the very outside here and then some more marigolds all the way down. So just on the outer edge where the deer would probably come from, most likely come from. But put in a uh, couple of zucchini here, cucumber up there, and then down there I put some purple beans and Topped it off with spraying my plants with uh, with this stuff here. So between the marigolds and that um, should keep them away. So that's about all I'm doing for right now. Um, still got more plants at home, but uh, yep, I'll update you when I make any more progress here.